Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my top picks for Father's Day fragrances that I think would make amazing gifts to give to your dad. And there's a ton of sales going around right now, so maybe even some for yourself. <laughs> a gift to your dad, or maybe if you are a dad, maybe a little gift for yourself, because why not? You definitely earned it. So I have 10 different fragrances here that I think would make an amazing gift. And I'm gonna start off with one of my favorites, which is one that just came out a couple months ago. This is Red Colorado by M. Mikalev. It is one of my top favorites from Mikalev. Mikalev is just such an amazing high quality niche fragrance house. This fragrance is no exception. 2023 release. In the top we have cypress, we have some pine, some fir, some bergamot, and some green leaves with a made of guayac wood, pine, patchouli, some woodsy notes, some sandalwood, cedar, and rose. And in the base we have leather and vanilla. It's a very masculine perfume. It's definitely for a father or for someone that loves to be outdoors there's like a very smoky vibe to this in the opening but very very masculine and very aromatic there's a lot of green notes in here herbaceous green a lot of earthiness in this fragrance it kind of reminds you like you're hiking through the Colorado mountains it's a very very realistic scent definitely for the dads out there that like to go hiking they like to be outdoors maybe they like fishing they like golfing just anything that has to do with being outside camping this is definitely the fragrance for them and the bottle is very cool as well it kind of has this red gradient and then the front says red colorado it really transports you it's so realistic i love the cypress and fur in this if you have a dad that loves the great outdoors this is definitely the fragrance for him and i have a 10 percent off code as well erica 10 for 10% off. It's a very classic kind of scent profile with a very modern touch that I think any man or dad in this occasion would really appreciate. So next, speaking of classic perfumes, we have Fougere Royale by Hubegant. This is the father of all Fougeres. This fragrance was created in the 1800s, but it was recreated in 2010 by the same perfumer that did the John Varvatos fragrances. This is the fragrance that started it all. Everything we know about Fougeres today originally started from this perfume. So this is a fragrance that is obviously perfect for a father or a man that just loves Fougere classic fragrances. Someone that has a very classic style. Definitely a must have for all the fathers out there. It's a really beautiful gift a very meaningful gift as well the notes in here we have some lavender with some green notes some chamomile and some bergamot with a made of geranium carnation some cinnamon some lilac some rose with a base of oak moss clary sage famous tonka bean patchouli and amber it's truly a classic and the quality of this is so good it's very like comforting in a way i don't know if it's just because it's such a classic refined scent it's like a very cozy scent like you definitely trust the guy that wears this <laughs> this is fougere royale by hubegun so next we have another one this is kind of a modern take on a classic scent profile this is pasha de cartier edition noir this has easily become my absolute favorite pasha out of the line it's another fougere style fragrance but it's much more modern there's citruses in here there's some cedar with some amber some mint a little bit of watery notes with some black pepper some iris heliotrope some florals in here and some cloves it's perfect for just the modern dad and it is very affordable as well i think i got this bottle for $50. Definitely in the designer world, I think it's a very underrated line that people need to be buying. And this is perfect for dads, I'm telling you. It's a very classic smell, but a very nice modern twist. Like it's very wearable in today's world. It's maybe for someone that likes a little bit of a sweeter accord, a very iris powdery dry down. Perfect for just everyday wear. This is a really great office scent as well. And it's very affordable and a really great gift if your dad is a little more modern but still likes classic scent profiles. Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir. So next is for the people out there that would like to spend a little a little extra on their dad this year. This is Isola Blue by Roja Dove. This is a very citrusy, aromatic, woody fragrance. It gets compared a lot to Terre de Hermes, but it it has that same kind of like vetiver, but in here, I feel like it's a little bit sweeter and it's a much, much, much more refined elegant quality version of Terre d'Hermes. So if you are someone that liked that scent profile, but maybe you didn't get like the best reaction from it or something, this is definitely the one to pick. This is for dads that like to be on the ocean, like boating. There's like a almost aquatic feel to this. There's nothing really aquatic listed in it, but there's like a very oceanic feeling to this with that vetiver, I think. It creates this spice, but it also in a way creates like the 
It's very slight, like salty feel. So get ready for this mouthful of notes. There's some bergamot in here with some lime, some lavender and black currant and apple with a coconut note that nah, I'm not really convinced that it's in here, but people say that it is with some orange blossom and some jasmine, some mate and amber, pink pepper, birch and cedar, and so much more. The note listing on this is just endless, but it's blended to absolute perfection. Sometimes I feel like when fragrances have just <laughs> like a magpie of notes, it doesn't really work very well, but in this, it works really beautifully. It just, it smells absolutely amazing. It smells so incredibly elegant and classy and very refined. And it's for that type of guy. If your dad is a very classy, elegant CEO vibes, this is definitely the one for him, Isola Blue. And there's a sale right now going on in Osme Perfumery here in America. You can get 15% off with the code FATHER15 starting today. It's a really great deal if you're looking for some Roges or other niche brands that aren't really that easy to find. He carries a lot of them that um, you don't find on a lot of other sites like Stefan Umberluca. He has a great selection of their products and everything is on sale right now for 15% off. The link for their website will be in the description as well if you're interested. But this fragrance is one that definitely has my heart. Very elegant Isola Blue by Roja Dove. So next we have one that is a little different from the last few in the list that we've smelled so far. This is Haltane by Parfums de Marly, my absolute top favorite Parfums de Marly fragrance. There's something about this that is just so jaw-droppingly good. It's one of the best oud fragrances on the planet. It's so refined and elegant and just so put together. There's clary sage in here with some lavender, adds a freshness to it. There's bergamot with a mid of praline, which I love, adds this kind of like sweet gourmand facet with saffron and a base of agarwood and cedar. It's very bold. It's for the guys out there, the dads out there that are very bold. They like to stand out and they like to smell very powerful. They're very powerful guys because this fragrance will leave an impression and it'll make an impression. Just when you walk in the room, people are going to be able to smell you and everyone's going to be looking your way. Definitely like strong CEO leader vibes. Someone who carries themselves with pride and wants to smell a little bit different because especially here in America, not a lot of people go for things like this, these like oud fragrances. Usually they go for things that I've listed already like fougeres, very fresh clean aquatic scents. This is something that will make you stand out and smell different and it's just so ungodly sexy this fragrance is one of my top for men i get asked all the time what is your number one fragrance for men <laughs> i don't know how to pick a number one but this is definitely in the top of my list haltain by parfums de marley so now we'll move on to another designer this is blue de chanel parfum this is for the dad that's a little more toned down people that want a more quiet softer fragrance it's still very very rich smelling and very refined someone that wants to smell put together but not offensive in any way this is the perfect scent for that we have some lemon zest some bergamot some mint and some artemisia with a mid of lavender an interesting pineapple note some geranium some green notes with the base of sandalwood cedar isoe super amberwood and tonka bean perfectly rounded fragrance it's nowhere near as beastly as the eau de toilette or others in the line like I said, it is much softer and toned down. After the first maybe like two, three hours, it becomes a really nice, strong skin scent. It's much more of an intimate projection for sure. It's really for like the type of person or the dad that's like a one fragrance collection kind of guy, like just wears the same thing for all occasions, not complicated at all, easy grab. This is the one for him, Blue de Chanel Parfum. So now we have one that is for the dads out there and the guys out there that are a little more edgier, a little more bold and adventurous. This is Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. So cool, so rock and roll. It's like rock and roll meets cowboy <laughs> meets businessman. It's like a very interesting combination. It is a lady killer. In here we have some cardamom with a mid of leather and jasmine sambac with the base of amber moss and patchouli. It's a pretty simple fragrance and it smells pretty simple as well, but the florals in this, that jasmine sambac really elevates it it makes it very wearable for like an everyday kind of scent if you really wanted to but the white florals in this really takes it to a new level and really really balances that leather out this one is a showstopper this is a head turner you're gonna get compliments wearing this it's very simple but i think it's the best mainstream mass appealing leather fragrance on the market perfect for all seasons but if you're gonna wear it in the summer it's probably better for like summer nights just go easy on the sprayer guys this is ombre leather by tom ford amazing so next we have one from a niche fragrance house called Jazeel. This is Hayam. This is a very 
woody, irisy, warm fragrance. Also has a little bit of leather and tobacco. And this fragrance is done by Chris Maurice, so you know it's going to be good. The notes in here, there's some nutmeg, there's clove and bergamot with a mid of gin, some cedar, and some orris with a base of tobacco, leather, and sandalwood. It's so high quality smelling. Just It smells so expensive. It really takes you to the Middle East as well. There's the spices in here mixed with the leather and the tobacco. It's just really warming and very comforting. It's a very enticing scent too. It's like one of those fragrances that you just want to keep smelling. If you love Chris Maurice's fragrances, you will definitely love this. It's kind of like his signature scent profile. I personally think there's more tobacco in this than there is in Naxos. Hot take. It's leathery, but it's sweet and earthy with a little bit of booziness in the mid. It's kind of toned down on the spiciness, like it's there, but it's not very loud. I think this is definitely for the type of dad or person that's a little more artsy, a little more open-minded, worldly. A very worldly person, I think, would wear something like this. I really appreciate it. Mm. It's so good and I have a discovery set from them that I'm going to be giving away soon, so look out for that. That is Hey M by Jazeel. So next we have another fragrance by Tom Ford. This is Costa Azura Parfum, and this is for the dads and the men out there that want to make an impression. So basically the name just means Blue Coast in Italian. It's like a vacation with the family, linen and khaki shorts. It's very fresh and very rich. It's for the guys out there and the dads out there that love to travel. And they love to travel, but they love to just relax. They're not the types of travelers that like to like go out and just have every hour of the day scheduled. You no, know, they're the type of travelers that want to go to Italy. They want to sit on the beach all day and they just want to like sit by the ocean. This is that kind of fragrance. It's laid back, but it's very rich. In the notes in here, we have some Italian lemon with a mid of cypress and oak with a base of amber and labdanum. And I feel like this is kind of what light blue, the new light blue, um, what was it called? The light blue flanker that just came out with the ceramic bottle. Why am I brain farting on this? I don't like that fragrance. Summer Vibes, I think it's called, right? That's the new one? Yeah, Summer Vibes. I think that the scent that they're trying to accomplish was something like this, with that cypress and the woodiness, but this is done so much better. This is like everything that it wanted to be, but so much more. This is also the best performing out of this line. It has great projection and it lasts a really long time. After maybe like the first few hours, it kind of comes closer to the skin, but it lasts for at least six, six, seven hours I've gotten out of this. It's very beautiful and I like it much more than the Eau de Parfum, very quickly becoming one of my favorite Tom Ford's Costa Azura Parfum. Costa, Costa, Costa. So now we have a fragrance here from BDK. This is Creme de Cure, which is a softer suede leather kind of scent. It's very musky and citrusy. There's some fruit notes in here as well, but the fruit does not come out in this really. It's there, you can feel it, way in the background. The main accords of this is like, it's a very soft, musky, suede leather kind of smell. The notes in here, like I said, it's got a lot of fruits. There's some pineapple, some grapefruit, some mandarin orange with some bergamot with a mid of white suede, some sandalwood, pink pepper with a base of cashmere and some vanilla, white musk and some birch. It's very unique and it's not overly sweet. Very, very realistic smell in here. It's almost semi-tropical with those three notes, but more than anything, it's just a really nice leather fragrance. But it's not even so much leather. It's more of like a suede. <laughs> because the difference between suede and leather, right? It's like, it's a little more skin-like than a straight leather. And this one also is 100% unisex. A woman could wear this if she really wanted to. The fruits are definitely there, but they're not that easy to perceive. This is for the type of dad or guy that just likes more unique scents and perfumes with some depth. Maybe an artsy guy. It's very lovely, it's very warm, and it's a very comforting scent as well on a man. BDK Parfums Creme de Cure. And last we have an honorable mention from an indie house that I recently fell in love with. It's called Hez Parfums. This is for the dads that like to smell a little sweet and boozy. I wanted to add this in here because I haven't put any fragrances on this list that are just straight gourmand, like life of the party kind of dad. It's called Bourbon Street by Hez Parfums. And it is a tribute to the New Orleans French Quarter. So the notes in here, we have some apple and some cinnamon with tobacco, bourbon, some tonka bean with a base of sandalwood, cedar, and vanilla bean. It's really great value as well for an indie perfume house. It's $65 for a 50 ml bottle. It's just blended so well. It's so sweet and so yummy, and you guys know what I think about gourmand fragrances. They make women want to eat you. Wear gourmand fragrances, guys. If you want attention from women, gourmand fragrances. You want a conversation starter. <laughs> gourmand fragrances, boozy, sweet, everything that this fragrance embodies 
is gonna start conversations with ladies. It's for the men that want to smell very sweet and want to stand out in the best way possible. His Parfums Bourbon Street. So that is my shopping guide. Gift recommendations for this upcoming Father's Day. Let you guys know about some sales that are going on. So if you're interested in any of these fragrances, they'll all be linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. What is your favorite fragrance on this list? I would love to know. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.